What's up guys? I'm back here at New Bedford with my friend John's house here. John is simplifying his life a little bit uh, in his own words and he's parting with this badass machine. John, tell us a little, a little bit about this ride. Yeah, it's uh, oh, uh, no, 1998 Valkyrie. Honda Valkyrie, six cylinder. It's a beast. It sounds incredible. Yeah, sounds like a NASCAR. Great sounding bike. Let's fire it up. Listen to this thing rumble. Six exhaust, corporate tires, front and rear. It's got like this um, almost like a ram air setup. Uh, just incredible. Beautiful bike. It's a big machine. Wow. It's basically a six-cylinder Goldwing motor, stripped down to look like a, a Harley Davidson Fat Boy on steroids, basically, right? What a cool piece! So this is just one of 18 motorcycles we pur purchased from John. The truckload we had yesterday, and uh, he's got some Primo ones he kept for himself uh, to ride, but these are ones he wanted to let go. This one's a beautiful Road King. What year is this one? This is uh, oh wait. Fuel injected. Nice Excuse looking me. bike. I love the blue and white. He's ready to go. Really sharp. Beautiful piece. He's also got uh, some accessories to go with this. A detachable backrest. Beautiful bike. Love the color combo. Nice, nice little rumble to it. Very nice. The blue and white has a nice vintage look, but it's a it's a modern. Don't let the vintage look fool you. That's a modern fuel injected six speed highway cruiser right there. Check out the headlights he's got in this thing. It's the coolest set of headlights I've ever seen on a Harley. Those are the high end Harley Davidson. Uh, I don't know, man. Those are the Halo headlights. It's pretty wild looking. The best looks cost a pretty penny. Very nice. Yesterday we picked up another Valkyrie from him, but that one was a year older. Nice piece. And then we've got a Goldwing Interstate. Um, I normally don't buy these because it's it's hard to get them serviced and worked on. But um, he's done everything to this thing. Uh, Sill has gone right through it. The car, he replaced the carburetors, not just cleaned them, but completely replaced the carburetors. Uh, put a new uh, air filter, air box set up on it. Painted the whole motor. <clears throat> changed all the fluids fires right up and it looks freaking awesome still spent still said still said he spent a week still has been a mechanic for 40 years and uh he's been working on john's bikes painted the front forks just a beautiful piece um very nice uh 1200 yeah i'll be demoing that for you guys later next week now this one here really caught my eye this is a yamaha venture royale what year is this one john Now, no, 83, I'm sorry. 83. 83. So, so this has the Yamaha VMAX motor. This is basically the motor they took and made one of the most no notorious, rowdy, uh, rocket street, street bare, bare knuckle street bikes out of, out of this massive touring machine. And uh, so needless to say, it's going to be a little bit faster than the Goldwing. And it's, I would say, a little more exclusive, a little bit more rare has a kind of a the fairing in my opinion the fairing was ahead of its time the, the way the, and the interstate's pretty sharp looking too but uh now john's gone the extra mile on this one he had a, a brand new windshield put on it and had it yet it professionally cut down right by a glass yeah. shop yeah. so i don't like looking through a windshield love what you did there with the short windshields the dunlop elite tires uh archie's been through this whole thing not archie um still who worked at archie's well, he used to work at archie's. works to work at archie's Went right through the whole bike, painted the motor. This is a stunning piece. Then we've got a, uh, a Triumph Legend, uh, 99, I think that 99. is. 99. 1,600 original miles. Wait, no, excuse me. 1,457 original miles on this yeah. one. So uh, we had this one running yesterday. Really cool piece. Uh, can't wait to... All these will go through our shop. They'll go through the normal uh, super rotisserie detail cleaning top to bottom. He's got so many bikes, uh, they just need a little little bit of love, a little bit of cosmetic polishing and primping and priming and whatever they need 
will get done. But for the most part, um, they're all uh, because Sil has gone through them. They're all they're all good bikes. And uh, then we've got a couple of we got a Yamaha Virago, older Yamaha Virago, um, eleven hundred, right? I think. Uh, no, seven fifty. Seven fifty. That's oh, a seven fifty. Then we got a, a Honda CB seven fifty K with the stock original four pipe exhaust. Um, somebody started a bobber project on this and never finished it. So we'll take this one runs and we've got a tight motor. Yeah, those are actually rare. Yeah, but we're going to take it over the finish line, put it back together, um, put a new uh, seat and uh, rear fender and everything on there. And then we've got a, uh, you said the motor on this one's really good, right? This yes, is, yes, it is. Yeah, this is, this is a uh, 750 Kawasaki. I, I believe, was it the Zephyr model? Is that what that's called? I don't remember. It's yeah. basically a KZ750 motor and a little bit more modern looking chassis. I'm going to say it's a, a early 80s model if I had to guess. 81, 82. Um, yeah, the date's right here. This one is, um, this, one, this one's an 80, 84. 84, okay. You're a graduate of high school, 35 years old. <laughs> um, it's got the, a mismatched color side cover and tank, but we could paint this Yes. to match because the motor is so good and it runs so good it's going to be worth making it cosmetically pristine again so we'll probably you'll probably see that one come up through the ranks uh through the shop all cleaned up so one two three four five six seven eight bikes uh in a eight place trailer so that's perfect we've got a full house here where are you going still there's still he's the master mechanic on his Honda. All right. Sills restored more gold wings than anybody I know. He's done over a hundred of these. Uh, probably New England's best Honda gold wing carburetor mechanic. Because, well, he may be one of the last. Well, I don't know <laughs> about that. There's, how, I used to be Evo Caniva, now I'm off of Canapo. Off of Canapo? I don't know anybody else that, that can that can tune these four-cylinder Hondas like you do. So he's gone through all these bikes, and for the most part. Uh, well, we're going to load them up now. Stay tuned. <laughs> 